our tutorial MACD stock technical indicator. Stock technical indicators are calculated by applying certain formula to stock prices and volume data. They are used to alert on the need to study stock price action with greater detail, confirm other technical indicator signals, or predict future stock prices direction. This topic is part of stock technical analysis with our course. Feel free to take a look at course curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of the video. Moving Averages Convergence Divergence, commonly known as MACD, consists of standard oscillator that measures stock price, momentum and identifies trends. 12 days are commonly used for short-term smoothing, 26 days for long-term smoothing, and 9 days for signal. For full reference, I recommend that you read Gerald Appel, Technical Analysis, Powerful Tools for Active Investors, published by Financial Time Press in 2005. Its calculation has the following steps. A. Short-term and long-term smoothing calculation. These are done with exponential moving averages. Here is an example we have the short-term exponential moving average, in which the current 12 periods exponential moving average is equal to 2 divided by 12 plus 1, which is then multiplied by the current close price minus the previous 12 days exponential moving average, and then that result plus the previous 12 days exponential moving average. For the initial 12 days exponential moving average, it is equal to a 12 days simple moving average of those corresponding 12 periods close prices. For the long term smoothing calculation, it's also done with an exponential moving average, with a formula equivalent to the one above but with its corresponding number of periods. B. MACD indicator calculation. The 12 and 26 days MACD is equal to the difference between the 12 days exponential moving average of closed prices minus the 26 days exponential moving average of closed prices or the difference between short term minus long term smoothing calculations we made previously. C. 9 days MACD indicator signal calculation. As an example, again, we have the 9-day signal, which is equal to a 9-day exponential moving average of the 12 and 26 days MACD indicator we calculated previously. D. MACD indicator histogram calculation. The 12, 26 and 9 days MACD histogram is equal to the 12 and 26 days MACD minus its 9-day signal. Great. So let's go into our studio so that we can study MACD stock technical indicator with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within our studio. The first step within the tutorial is to load the R packages. For this tutorial, we'll be using TTR and QuantMod. So this is done with the library command and within it, the package name within quotations. So we select those two code lines there click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. So once we've loaded the packages, the next step is to create the data variables for the calculation of the MACD stock technical indicator. So this is done here. We create the variable SPY, which is equal to read.csv. Within quotations, we have the name of the data file, MACD stock technical indicator data.txt. So see, this is a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values stored within the global environment comma header equals to true. So we select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that creates SPY variable as a data frame within the global environment. So we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon there, and for SPY we have the following. Dates at the first column, and then SPY open, high, low, close prices, 
volume and adjust the close prices. SPY is the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the standard Poor's 500 index. Adjusted close prices were the ones adjusted for dividends and splits. This data has a daily frequency and we have one year of data in 2016, therefore 252 observations. So going back into the code file, the next step is we are going to convert that corresponding data frame into an extensible time series. We do so here by overriding that SPY and we do so with XTS function. And what we do is from SPY, we select from column two to column seven that corresponds to SPY open all the way into SPY adjusted. And we're going to order by equals as date SPY the first column. So the first column, instead of being a column of data, it will become the index of this bar all. So we select that code line there. Again, click run or control enter on the keyboard. And by going back into SPY, barbell here, we see now that instead of being dates as a column, now it became the index. And within the global environment, we have SPY as an XTS or extensible time series. So going back into the code file, now that we have the data ready, we can calculate the MACD stock technical indicator. So first we'll calculate the indicator and then we'll visualize it within a chart. So for its calculation, we have MACD, which is equal to MACD function with capitals, and we'll be using close prices from SPY with CL, and then the parameters for the technical indicator. Notice that these parameters are the ones commonly used, but they are not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. So we have N fast equals to 12, that's the short term smoothing, N slow as 26, that's the long term smoothing, and N sig as 9 as the signal. So we select again that code line, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that created the MACD barbell within the global environment. So again, we click the spreadsheet kind of icon, which opens the MACD barbell for us, and then we have MACD and signal calculation. So for the MACD, we need at least the number of observations within that long-term or slow smoothing calculation, which are 26 for the first calculation, which we have right here. And on top of that, we need nine more observations for the signal, which is right here. So going back into the code file, the next step is we're going to visualize this within a chart and we do so with a bar chart with capital C for SPY. Then we have the theme, chart theme as white, so we have a white background, and we're going to add the MACD oscillator with capitals and the corresponding parameters. Again, fast equals to 12, slow 26, signal 9 as the ones commonly used, but can be modified according to your needs. So we select these two code lines, click run or control enter on the keyboard. So that creates the chart here within the plots area. So we zoom into it, and then we have the first of the charts here, that's SPY bar chart. On the right, we can see those prices and each of those bars. The ones colored in green were the positive bars, the ones colored in orange, the negative ones. Then we have the next chart, which corresponds to volume. And then we have at the bottom, we have the MACD centered oscillator. Notice that it's been centered at zero. And for the calculation, we have that moving average convergence, divergence, and the number of periods. 12, 26, and 9. Colored in gray, that's the MACD indicator. In dash red, that it is associated signal. And then the bars at the back, that's the histogram. Notice all the calculations from the beginning of 2016 all the way to the end of 2016. Excellent. So we're going to close this chart here and we'll go back into the slides. Excellent. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.